everyone welcome back to my channel just flow with we friends once again welcome you all on my new vlog friends as you all know we are in phuket thailand and this is our day 2 in phuket where we are going to explore beautiful old phuket town friends old phuket town is famous for its beautiful architecture cafe restaurant and shopping market places so come let's explore this beautiful place Hey everyone if you are in Phuket or planning to visit Phuket then you must add old Phuket town in your itinerary because it's a beautiful place which only requires some 1 or 2 hours to be explored old Phuket town was not in my itinerary but since we had some free time in afternoon we decided to visit it and i'm glad we made this decision we were staying near Patong beach and from Patong beach old Phuket town is about 14 km so we took a cab outside our hotel which took some 400 thai baht from Patong Beach to Old Phuket Town. It took some 30 to 35 minutes for us to reach to Old Phuket Town. This place exceeded my expectations in many ways. Old Phuket Town is a small area you can walk around in about an hour, but definitely take it slow and you might find some hidden gems. While walking around the Old Phuket Town area, you won't be short of options for shopping. There are plenty of traditional ceramic shops, locally made jewelry, clothes and accessories. Like we went in inside this first shop which had a variety of caps hats and handmade bamboo products but i found something like the prices were much higher than that of shops near patong beach also they were selling at fixed price so if you are looking for regular and local shopping then this market is going to be expensive for you no doubt the product quality was looking better and higher than that of the local streets near patong beach If you love buying leather then these cute leather keychains are perfect for you as a gift or a souvenir. The shopping market here usually opens from morning 8 to evening 5 pm. When we think of Phuket the immediate picture that comes to mind is white sand beach. I definitely did not expect to see these colorful shop houses in Phuket. You can learn more about the island's history by visiting different sites in the old Phuket town. If you are looking for some higher end of shopping then you can come to old Phuket town because it It's a perfect place for you to shop and have fun. If you plan to visit Old Phuket Town, I would request not to plan in afternoon because the climate is hot and humid. The sun will be right at the top of your head, and it will be difficult for you to walk and explore this beautiful market. The best time to visit and explore this beautiful Old Phuket Town is evening, and that too weekend evenings because you might get more shopping stalls during weekends. If you are an influencer or Instagram person, then this is a perfect place for you. I I recommend walking down Soi Romani for beautiful photo walk opportunity. There is some wonderful blends of architecture along with eating opportunities and religious buildings. This is a great historic walk and well worth effort. This place matches up to the vibe you can find in Singapore and Penang. As we came here during afternoon and it was getting so hot, we stopped by to get some fresh coconut water for only 40 Thai baht. Right now we are in Soi Romani street and this is one of the most in Instagramable and photo opportunity street in Old Phuket town. You are definitely going to love the Sino Portuguese architecture, narrow laneways, and traditional shop houses. In Soi Romani Street, I found this ladies' accessory shop where it was written "Buy two get one free." So I quickly went inside to explore it. It had a beautiful and feminine collection of artificial earrings, both in silver as well as golden color. They also had a huge variety of hair accessories like clay bows. bands and these cute lv clips are really very nice all the designs here were very new and trendy i tried for bargain but the seller was not at all to less anything in the price so i just did a window shopping and left the shop moving ahead in the soi romani street only i found this beautiful structure this is actually a restaurant cum cafe but every tourist passing by was standing there to click their pictures or record their videos you should definitely visit this place to have some memories for absolutely free Old Phuket town is a vibrant mix of culture and charm from its bustling markets to colorful streets every moment is a delightful adventure This place is known for brightly painted century old Sino Portuguese town houses that you will love watching on the streets of Old Phuket town You will love exploring some beautiful boutiques and shop houses selling exclusive handcrafted garments On both the sides of the road you will find shops selling so much of goods and stuff at one point of time I was really confused 
used to walk on which side because I was missing the other side. Nevertheless, whichever side you walk, you will love watching the view and of course, you can shop on your side. After walking about for some one hour, I finally found some shops selling items at reasonable prices. Aren't these tops too cute and pretty? They were starting just from 200 baht. Finally, I found something for which I was looking for a shop selling each and every item for only 100 baht. And from here, I bought a cotton lower for myself like this one and after using it, I can say the quality is really very good. Town is probably the best place to get the real Thailand experience on the island. After exploring the market, we were too hungry, so we decided to have some food. We saw this cub house from the other end and decided to get inside and explore what all it offers. This cub house was by Honda. As we get inside, we could see a nice cafe restaurant set up with bikes, bikes, and more bikes. On their menu, they had some croissant, pastries, muffins, cupcakes, and cold drinks. Basically, all bakery stuff they were selling and the prices were also very low and reasonable. I was more interested in exploring bikes and the cafe. There were so many bikes and I have never seen these kind of bikes anywhere. So basically this was a shop, a showroom where you can have nice food and also you can buy a bike or a super bike or a scooty. One plus point I found inside this cup house was they had a washroom but before you go to washroom you had to order and then they were giving a code to you that code you had to enter on the lock outside the washroom you might be thinking why am i telling you this because in entire market we did not find any washroom facility now for our food we ordered a chocolate waffle and croissant so meanwhile it was coming i decided to record each and every corner of this beautiful place <laughs> Finally, after a waiting of some 30 minutes, our food arrived. So this one is a chocolate gross scent. It was really very tasty, yummy and fresh at the same time. I really enjoyed my meal a lot. Our second order was chocolate waffle for my son and he too liked his food and he enjoyed well. the sun sets at the old Phuket town, it is undoubtedly way quieter than the base on the west side of the island. You won't find pumping dance music but you can find some chill cocktail bars and live bands in a few places. And from here we went to another historic place or I can say the most instagrammable place. This is a clock tower in old Phuket town. This is a must visit place where you will find people, tourists recording themselves and taking pictures as their memories. And from here we decided to exit the old Phuket town market so we booked a grab and decided to go back to our hotel near Patong Beach. Dear viewers, there are a lot more vlogs on my channel on Phuket, Thailand and you can go and watch them on my playlist in my channel. And also please, if you like this vlog, do not forget to subscribe my channel. I request you to subscribe to help it to grow. Friends, if you enjoyed my this vlog, please do subscribe my channel to support me and to enjoy my future travel and lifestyle vlogs. I am waiting for your likes, shares and comments. See you on my next vlog. Till then, bye-bye and take care.